What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect to your Google Cloud Compute Engine virtual machine locally using your terminal over SSH. And the reason I think you should know this is because I've noticed that sometimes when I try to connect to my instance over SSH in the browser, I get this long running spinner and I essentially get locked out for some period of time. So. If that ever happens to you, being able to do this locally will be a good alternative to make sure that you can get into your VM instance. Anyways, guys, let's get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our dummy VM. All right, SSH example, region doesn't really matter. Uh, the size doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're gonna go down to uh, management and security and these keys allow access only to this instance unlike project-wide SSH keys. Let's go ahead and generate our key. So I'm going to come over to terminal. Okay, so we're going to copy this command here and run this locally. And one thing we want to do is just swap out the name of the key. So I'm going to call this um, gcloud SSH VM. And then my username, I'm going to put my email address that I use to access. Um, compute cloud. I'm going to do no passphrase. Okay. So on a Mac, there is a directory called .ssh. And it basically holds all your keys, just so when you're using keys, they kind of know to look in one place. So the key I just generated was this guy here. So there's a, there's a private and a public key. So actually, let's just open this up so we can take a look at it. That is my private key. All right, so we're going to take this public key. Note there are a couple extra flags here. This is just how the format that Google wants it. And we're going to put it into this field here. We're going to go ahead and click Create. OK, it looks like our VM is set up. I'm going to connect in the browser real quick just to validate that everything looks good. OK. So now let's, let's connect from our terminal using the SSH key that we just set up. So there's a particular command here that we're going to want to use. So say I was just in my root directory here. I would throw this command in here. So the first argument is path to private key. We're going to do... And then... We're going to reference our private key, which is this guy right here. And then username. And then the IP of the VM. So it's going to prompt us here on the first connection. We're just going to type yes. And then we're going to run the same command. And we can see we are in our server. And just to validate that, I'll do touch new file.txt. Oops. So I'm going to elevate myself. And I'm going to go back to root. I'm going to do touch new file.txt. And I should see that show up on this guy here. There it is. So now we're remotely connected to the VM. If I wanted to get out, I just click exit. And now I'm not connected anymore. Or I can connect again. And you can just see how easy that is, right? Not connected. Connected. So there are benefits to this. You don't have to go into a Google Cloud platform every time you want to uh, connect to your VM. Anyways, guys, that's all I got. Thanks. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. And thanks for listening.